there is a game. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of words. A dimension of pictures. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. There's a signpost up ahead. Your next stop? The Mother Box. And now, for a man voted in high school most likely to die unmourned, alone, and unloved, it's Dan Shaheen. Hey, Dan. Oh, uh, hey, Voice of God, what's up? What you doing? Just, uh, writing more comics trivia questions for you. You know, uh, ever since you trapped me in this hyper-dimensional cube with access to every comic that ever has or will be created, uh, I got nothing else to do. Great, that's just fantastic. But did you hear about that fire at the circus? It was intense. Look, that's another thing. You constantly interrupt me with these stupid dad jokes. How is it that an artificial intelligence from the future has such a terrible sense of humor? How dare you? Just for that, you'll spend another thousand years here for your insolence. Remember, I can make things very uncomfortable for you. Sorry. Look, sorry. Sorry, boys of God. I, I got another batch of questions set up. Uh, though, for the game... Uh, who have you got lined up to play? I'm glad you asked. When he's not funding, publishing, writing, or editing indie comics, he's reading them. What else he's up to, no man can say. Welcome, William Hoffnecht. Eli Schwab was raised by a cabal of cartoonist assassins known as the League of Inky Shadows. His turn-ons include the works of Sam Keith, Matt Wagner, and the anguished screams of children. Give it up for Eli Schwab. <laughs> guys, whoa, welcome to the show, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Voice of God, yes. for that amazing intro. Um, welcome to Motherbox, folks. Today, we're going to just put this thing to the test right away. We're going to go into the game. We're not going to explain a thing. You're just We're just going to play. So, uh oh, we just got to dive in. All right. Yeah, we flip we flip the coin backstage, and William was here first, so he gets to go first. <laughs> All right. So we're going right, so, so to so, start. Yeah, so, yeah, so William, I please. start out, I go ahead and uh, I pick a category, right? Pick any category. Right. We've got alter egos. All right. First look. Or comic creators. Okay. All right. Let's just start with uh, comic creators. Let's see what okay, we got comic here. Okay. For 1,000 points, who's the creator of Peanuts? Oh, man. Sparky, Charles Schultz. <laughs> Show me Charles Schultz. Oh, hey. He oh. created Peanuts. Yeah. Hey, that's not but a he, peanut. Hey, what? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he created Peanuts, but he sure didn't work for him, right? Oh, we're just going back to the first cartoon billionaires there with the yellow kid gotcha. yes okay you you got that right and i'll bet you a comic nerd like you might be able to identify this cover already Maybe. but well, you've got well, a choice would you like to pick another category or would you like to solve the puzzle well i need i need more than points man i i mean i can yeah. obviously see we got thor there right that's an obvious mm. thor at the bottom but not not too sure if i know the cover yet and, and let's let's suck up some of them points so uh, so let's stick with uh, comic creators. Okay, comic creators for two thousand. Uh, this creator created Sin City as well as so many other things. Yeah, man, that's uh, that's uh, our bo our boy Frank Miller. Show me Frank Miller. Woo -hoo! Ding -ding! Yeah. Correct. Awesome job. All now right, all I, I want to do the idea. <laughs> now all I want to do is see uh, Popeye in, in Sin City. <laughs> Who would? Oh man, well, that would be fantastic. <laughs> I, let's go to the next category. Pick a category: alter egos, first look, comic creators, or solve uh, the puzzle. Let's go. Okay, let's try. Uh, let's try first look. Show me what's in that category. Okay, first look for one thousand. William, this man of tomorrow appeared in Action Comics number one. And I'm just going to say, if you can't get this one, you might be on the wrong show right now. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that, we, that's got to be our, our boy Superman. Let's right? Show Eagle me Superman. <laughs> All right. All right. Nice. Okay, I think <laughs> you get the idea here. Um, let's, let, 
Let's take a second and get to know some of our contestants right now. William, why don't you tell me about 100% Comics? Yeah, um, so 100% Comics is kind of my my business where I do a bit of dealing, a bit of publishing, just anything kind of in and around comics. It's kind of the, the branding that I use for that. Um, so we, we've published a few magazines, a few comic mags. Uh, we have coming out here soon, uh, uh, Weapon X, which is kind of our first big uh, uh, square bound release that I'm, I'm looking forward to. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I deal, I, I kind of collect, I do just about everything under that banner. Okay. And how about, how about my man, Eli? Eli, why don't you tell us a little about, about uh, Cosmic Lion? Absolutely. Cosmic Lion Productions has been publishing comics for well over 10 years now, starting with my Monkey Lion, the uh, tales of an intergalactic Afro-funk band on tour through the galaxy. And we've continued more recently with Wizard, the comics magazine, the 248-page uh, behemoth, only to be surpassed by its son, the 300 page, 258 page behemoth that is almost completed now. Our newest release, Don't Get Too Close to My Fan Zine, issue six, the world's only zine about the band Ween. And it's coming out now. Awesome. Out the Ween Zine. Yeah. Fantastic. And well, hopefully you're going to have a chance to show off some of your comic book knowledge. But right now, William's on a tear. Will, a sorry, roll. Will, All right. why don't you pick another category? Well, let's let's go with the alter egos. Let's let's just clear out that bottom row. All right, for one thousand points, can you tell me Batman's secret identity? And trust me, they get a lot harder than this one. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, well, I mean that's and you you worded it right, right? Because Batman's secret identity is Bruce Wayne, right? That's the alter ego. It's important to yes. know Batman is the character, right? Not oh. the other way around. So yeah, it's Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. Secret identity. Show me Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, Will, keep it going. What's your All next right. category? Let's stick with or solve ego. the puzzle. I'm guessing that you could probably guess this this cover by now, but keep going. Yeah, yeah I, I think I got it, but but let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, okay. Alter egos for uh, two thousand. Okay, for two thousand, Will, can you tell me uh, the alter ego of one Otto Octavius? Oh man! Well, come on. This this even this fits into the realm. We got the. Uh, we got the uh, alliterated names, just like his arch enemy Peter Parker, right? Otto Octavius is Oc is Doc Ock, Doctor Octopus. Show me Doctor <laughs> Octopus, correct? <laughs> All right, we might be overusing some sound effects, but hey, we're just getting this thing started here. William, t pick another. All right, let's uh, let's clear out that uh, second row with first look. Okay, first look for two thousand. Can you tell me? What major Spider-Man character first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man number 50? Um, I, I might be getting it mixed up, but I want to say that's Kingpin. Show me Kingpin. Uh, yep, Wilson Fifth. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm I remember that. Was, <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Well, I got that. Okay, so you might have a clue of what we're what we're looking at right now. Yeah. Uh, pick another category or solve this puzzle. Uh, let's go with uh, creators for three. Comic creators for three thousand. William Osama Tezuka created this robot kid with love in his heart and a machine gun in his butt. Uh, I want to. Is it? Uh, is it Astro Boy? Show me Astro Boy. Oh, cool! Yeah. My uh, oh my god! My manga knowledge is not up to uh, up to snuff, so <laughs> I was oh, taking the stab okay. well, there. Good. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, <laughs> solve this puzzle, or or keep it going. You are on a tear at twelve thousand hey, points. I, I want to see how hard they get. Let's go, creators for four. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Okay, for four thousand points. Who's the creator of Acme Novelty Library? Now, this might be might not be difficult for a nerd like you. I have a feeling, <laughs> Will, but for your average Joe out there, this might be a little tougher. Who, who created Acme? Yeah, this is uh, this is our boy Chris Ware. Oh, uh, as long as you didn't say Chuck Jones, show me Chris Ware. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh! So you think you're tough? Are you ready for a five thousand yeah. point question? Or yeah, Ooh, bring, bring it on! Up. Bring it on! Here we go. And this is, I think, going to give away a lot. Who created the Spice Capades comic? You stumped me. I, I'm not. I don't know this one. Um, 
I uh, I have no clue. I don't even have a guess. Uh, not <laughs> even a guess. Well, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. The correct yeah. answer. Oh, uh, oh and there's one of his pictures. Yeah. Too, patron of the show, friend of comic book news, and uh, creator of many of the graphics that you see on the show. Man, you just got your first question wrong. You revealed the issue number. This could have been hmm. that could have been a fatal mistake. However, Eli's got a chance to steal, but he's got to get at least one question correct. Right. So, Eli, pick a category. All right. Let's let's start with alter egos for three thousand, please. Okay, for three thousand. What's the what's the uh, alter ego or alternate identity of one Hank McCoy? Right. This one I know. This one I know. He didn't always start out this way, but the more blue he got, the more of a beast he became. The beast. Ah, uh-huh. why? Why so blue? Show me the beast. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Woo! All right. Yeah, that ain't on him. The, you're on the, <laughs> board. the board. Here we go. And you got a All chance right. to take this thing. And I just want to remind everybody that there's only a 1,000 point bonus for... Um, correctly naming the cover so it really behooves you to answer more questions but also i'll give you a little extra a little something to sweeten the pot if you could tell me what's special about this issue as well when you name it so uh, i want you um pick a category uh let's let's do alter egos for four alter ego alter egos for four thousand oh can you tell me the alter ego of the hulks uh Enemy, the abomination. Oh my god! I don't think I can. Wishing you, Tim Roth. You're wishing you picked that first look <laughs> now. Show me <laughs> Tim Roth. Oh, sorry, uh, comrade. You, that damn it, dude! I, no. I, I would not. Have, I would never remember that either. <laughs> Tim <laughs> Roth was all I could think of too. <laughs> Kim, yeah, you, dang! You could have thought they were all. What was the be answer? Like, I missed it. I missed it. Oh, it's uh, one comrade, Emil Blonsky. Ah, uh, Blonsky, that's right. Blonsky. All right, so <laughs> so we're back to Will. Will, back this is your Will. chance. All right, all Get right. One right, you can solve this thing. All right, let's take that first look for three. First look for three. Okay, can you tell me what comic did the X Men's Nightcrawler first appear in? Yeah, if I'm uh, if I remember correctly, that is Giant Size X Men number one. Show me Giant Size X Men number one. Woohoo! All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice flaming mm-hmm. carrot. Nice. <laughs> nice work. Nice work. All okay, right. well, this is your chance. You want to solve this puzzle or do you want yeah. to continue on to the really hard questions? Yeah, no, we're, we're going to solve this. Uh, and this is a, that's Avengers number four. And that's the first. Uh, the, the reappearance of Captain America in the Avengers, right? So that, that was the reappearance. This out. Let's check this out. Uh, my notes say, yes, Avengers number four. This was the first modern appearance mm-hmm. of Captain America after he was frozen in World War II. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. With 19,000 points, William, you're leading the pack, but we're on to the next round. And uh, loser starts. So we're going to round two. And uh, it's Eli's chance to shine. Uh, right now on Mother Box. You just... All right. Switch it over. Okay. We got some new categories, too. Eli? uh, Yeah, pretty much the same thing with different category names. We've got AKA, (laughs) First Look, and Artists and Writers. All right. Uh, So uh, pick a category, Eli. All right. Let's start with these Artists and Writers for 1,000. Okay. For 1,000 points, who drew and co-wrote Avengers number one? We're looking for two people. Um, okay, well, we have Jack Kirby, of course, and we have Joe Simon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, because oh, that's Captain America, not a Not Captain America. Oh, Stan Lee. We got you. I'm sorry, Eli. Dang it. Uh, Here I am, so. <laughs> yeah. And here's a cover. I'm guessing you guys are going to be able to pick this one out pretty soon, too. Uh, Eli, or Will, this is your moment. Pick All a right. category. I lost All right. At least you. At least it. you know what, Eli. At least you got Kirby, and that's the important part. You got. Oh you my got gosh. Kirby, right? So, <laughs> frankly, I should give you points just for that, but it's not that kind of show. Ah. All right. All right. Let's go with the uh, first look. First look for one thousand points. Amazing Fantasy number fifteen is the first appearance of this 
Arachnid Avenger. Hey man, that's that's like the Holy Grail of Easy. comics, man. That's uh, that's Spider Man. That's Peter Parker. Sure is. Thousand points Woo-hoo! get you, Spidey. Right. Okay. Count Dante. Category. Yeah. Category All right. time. All right. Let's or solve this puzzle. Frankly, it's one of the, <laughs> it's one of the more <laughs> iconic, identifiable covers, but. It's yeah, yeah. You there. know what? Let me let me try to solve this. I, I think oh I got God. this. Is that is that Daredevil one eighty one? Uh, show me Daredevil one eighty one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what man. can you tell me about th- what can you tell me about this bad boy? Will? Oh, that's the uh, that's the uh, that's Frank Miller. That David and uh, uh, that's uh, that's the issue where uh, Electra dies. Correct. We're going to give you a thousand point bonus for that, as if you needed it, and you get and you got a uh, thousand points, uh, two thousand points for identifying the last one too that I forgot to give you. Great work, and we're on to round three. All right, Eli, here's your shot. Right, I guess start again. Come on, All you right, got to come okay. back, man. You I got know. This. Come on, remember. All right. All right, back to Eli. Eli, this is your moment. All right, Pick let's try alter egos for one thousand. Okay, for 1,000 points. Can you tell me Superman's given name? Okay, you're always sending me these curveballs. He was Are given gotten- the name by birth or given the name upon his landing on Earth? I mean... Given what? name, we're going to say his first given name. All right, Kal-El. Show me Kal-El. Woo-hoo! Correct. All right. All right. We're back, we're there we back go. in business, Eli. All right. We're back okay. in business. Okay. Mm. Can you tell me? Oh, we, we know we can see the artist. Yeah, we can see piece. the year. Okay. Yep, bag there. All right. You guys, okay. I, I'm sorry. You know, I betray my uh, allegiances uh, on this show, <laughs> and I always put my favorite comics and creators in there. <laughs> That's what you should do. Yeah. Hey, dear right, Joe, do it. <laughs> yeah. Let's try first appearance for a thousand. Okay, for one thousand. All right. Start can you tell me who first appeared in Incredible Hulk 180? And don't be a jerk and tell me it's 181. Right. Uh, we're going to go for Wolverine here on this one. Show me Wolverine. Woo-hoo! Right. Nice work. Olive oil. Uh, okay, buddy. All right. What's let's next? keep it going. Let's let's try let's try creators for a thousand. I, I could be going Comic. up, but let's go. Conquer all one thousand. This. He created Garfield. He hates Mondays, but man, he's loving life with all that Garfield money. Uh, uh, Davis. Uh, Davis. We're going to accept that. We're going to go Jeopardy rules and we're going to accept Jim Davis. Jim Davis. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'll take it. You got it. Yes. Uh, that, that, that cuts it for me. Uh, pick, a, pick, a, pick a category or solve this puzzle. Uh, we keep going. We'll try alter egos for two. Okay. I have the feeling we're going to get far in this puzzle, a little further in this puzzle. Okay. Uh, that is Dr. Kurt Connors. Can you show me Kurt Connors? Woo-hoo! Correct. Right. Yes. Another Again, following the alliteration CC, rule. Yep. yep. Following the alliteration <laughs> rule. Here we go. Um, and, let's uh, keep across. First appearances for two. Yeah. First, first appearance for 2000. First appearance of Luke Cage, oh, oof. otherwise known as Power Man. Tough, tough. Not, not, not the easiest one. Um, I don't know. Heroes for Hire one. Show me Heroes for Hire number one. Oh, oh yes. all right, man. Awesome. I, got, I thought I thought it was like a Marvel team up or something first, but oh dang, yeah. no, nope. it's right there. Awesome. Um, I did Great. to tell you the truth. I did too. All right, dude, Eli, you're you're roaring back. All right, let's keep it going. Category. Comic creators for two. Okay, for two thousand comic creators. Ah, this one is right in your wheelhouse, my friend. Tell me the writer and artist on 1989 Sandman number one from Vertigo. All right, that's Neil Gaiman and Sam Keith. Show me Neil Gaiman and Sam Keith. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Show me Powerhouse Pepper while you're at it. <laughs> hey, another okay, favorite any, of Basil. Any idea? And I mean, I, I'll bet you could guess what comic this might this is. Yeah, but I don't know the numbers. I don't know yeah, feedback yeah. well enough. So I so hate to get it wrong. Some questions, kid. Yeah, you better answer some questions. <laughs> All right, let's do alter egos for three. Three thousand points and alter ego. Who is 
not better known, but otherwise known as Rock Crin. Oh, geez. I don't know this, I don't think. Um, let's guess Annihilus. Wrong. Oh, nah. 31st century cosmic boy from the Legion of Superheroes. Ah, uh, I have a whole Valiant there of my knowledge. Valiant <laughs> attempt. Okay, we're into the more, the trickier right. questions, so mm -hmm. it's your right. turn, Will. Pick a category. Let's, let's stick with Alter. Let's stick with Alter Ooh. Ego. Yeah. Oh, bold move. For 4,000... Can you tell me the alter ego of one Walter Kovacs? Oh, I know this one. That's uh, that's our that's uh, that's Rorschach. Uh, you see what you want to see. Rorschach Woo! is yeah. correct. Great job. Okay, okay, tough guy. All right. Now, do we hit our first five thousand point question, or let's do we? Do uh, yeah, let's do it. Hit nice. that. Let's do this thing. Alter egos for five thousand points. What superhero? Is better uh, better known as Shoe Shine Boy. Ah, hmm. uh, well, um, <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> like I'm I'm going through my Rolodex here, and I'm I'm not totally sure. I'm just gonna take a stab in the dark and say, uh, let's just let's just use the opportunity to call out the name of Jack Kirby again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're, that's your final answer, yep, Jack no, Kirby? I'm, I'm sorry, but <laughs> oh, underdog. Oh, underdog. Oh, well, at least we got the yeah, Kirby, got a Kirby there. there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try so, creators. Sorry, Fredo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try comic creators for three. Comic so, creators for 3,000. Okay, who's the creator of uh, Indie Darling 8-Ball? That is Dan Klaus. Correct. <laughs> All right. Okay, and, and you've got you've revealed the issue number. You could solve this puzzle at this point if you want. Or you yeah. can or you can answer a question. Yeah, you've got I mean, if you can see it, you can see it. No, I'll keep going. Let's try let's okay. try creators for four. Whoa. Okay, creators. I'm getting crazy. This creator created the Pulitzer Prize winning mouths and also wacky packs from Tops. Yeah, that is Art Spiegelman. Uh, show me Art Spiegelman. Ooh. Show me my Whoa. bar mitzvah gift. <laughs> nice. Okay, this is uh, solve or pick a category. I think you could get some. I think there's some easy points left on this board. All right, yeah, let's try first appearance for three. Okay. Can you tell me the first appearance of probably my favorite Marvel supporting character, Rick Jones? I'm, I'm going to guess Hulk 1. Are you sure? Is that your final answer? I don't know. Yes. Show me Hulk 1. Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! And that yeah. one was kind of tricky, I think. I know, you yeah. Know? Like... Because he's been in so many books and in so many contexts. Right. <sighs> all right. Tell all me right. a character who's more forgotten than Rick Jones and more, like right. who is so who is so core at the foundation of the Avengers and the Hulk and all that stuff. Captain Marvel, not to mention, mm -hmm. and just like yeah. erased from Marvel Surprised University. he's not in. Oh, I see the number now. <laughs> yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. So this is your moment, yeah. Solve or 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 go on. I could almost catch up. All right, let's try Good. one more. Let's try. Okay. Let's try creators for five thousand. Whoa, for five thousand, a little risky. This is a tie for the risky for the tie business. game. All right, in your wheelhouse, I think. Oh, yeah. Tell me who's the creator of the indie porno disgust fest <laughs> known as faust and i mean that in the nicest way possible that is comic creator tim vigil show me tim vigil <laughs> oh. okay now you can you can solve this thing for another thousand for for a thousand point bonus and if you could tell me what's special about this i'll kick you in another thousand oh i don't know what's special i haven't read enough hate yeah um, it features our Chrome. I can see that. 
Um, all right, let's just solve. Let's do it's hate number 27, uh, which Show features me hate 27. <laughs> Woohoo! Correct. Oh, yeah. And also, this happens to be a very special ep- ep- uh, issue. It's the death of Stinky Leonard Brown. Mm-hmm. Leonard and the Love Guy shoots himself in the head in this issue. Wow. Uh, so hats off. Hats off to you, Stinky. All right, back to this game. And we're on to the next round. round. All right, all right. Okay. Don't forget to give Eli his uh, his thousand points there. Uh-huh. Oh, I, correct. Thank Good. you. Thank you for Good. that. Uh, I'm going to give you a thousand points for that. No. That puts it at uh, 27 to 28, but Will, it's your turn. Yeah, exactly. All right, all right. Let's steal. start. Yeah, let's start with uh let's start with that first look category. First look for 1000. Can you tell me what major Marvel character first appeared in Avengers Annual number 10? Happens to be one of my all-time uh, favorite comics. I, I might be mixing this up with someone else, but I believe that's Rogue. Show? Wow, Rogue from the X-Men? First appearance in Avengers Annual number 10? That can't be right, can it? But it is! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> nice. As also, an amazing though, book. Uh, yeah, script by Chris Claremont. Yeah. Uh, uh, art by the amazing Michael Golden. It's one yep. of the greatest single issue comics from Marvel or I think any company. If you don't have Giant Size Avengers number 10, go out and get it right away. Mm-hmm. All right. Man, that, Will, that, you're corner, still in this? that corner picture doesn't give us much. I'm not, not totally mm-hmm. not sure what we're looking at yet. Okay. Let's not stick with, our, with Yeah, let's stick with first look. Let's stay in this category. Mm-hmm. Okay, first look for two thousand. I'm not even sure what it is to tell you the truth. Can you tell me the first appearance of the planet Krypton? I, I mean, I, I have to just, I mean, my best guess is Action Comics 1. But could Dan be trickier than that? Nah, he's not. He's uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit my, uh, my, my Superman knowledge is not, uh, is not up there. It's not up to snuff. Oh, man. I'm glad I didn't ask you first appearance of Candor. That's somewhere in there. Oh, from. man. Absolute uh, Candor. all right will this is your moment yeah we're gonna stick with first look let's stay with this category okay first look for three thousand. Oh, can you tell me this character last appeared in superboy number 68 Mm. that might be a hint um I'm going to go with Krypton the dog. I have no idea. Oh, no. It was his first appearance, but to Bizarro, oh, it would have been uh, his last appearance. Mm. His first appearance in Superboy 68. All right, Eli, uh, it's on to you. You might be able to pick out this comic now, but... Yeah, I, uh, think, I think I might, but let's continue. I'm going I'm to try artists and writers for 1,000. Okay, for 1,000. All right. Artist and creator of Spider-Man. Doctor Strange, The Question, and Mr. A, uh, uh, as well as many, many others. Very good question. A, an amazing and complex individual, a one Mr. Steve Ditko. Who Woo! else? The Creeper, uh, Hawk and Dove. Uh, Blue Beetle. Uh, mm. Blue, the, new, the New Gods. Yeah, the new Blue Beetle, Reba, so many things. Ditko, Ditko, not a one-trick pony, not a one-hit wonder by any stretch. Not at all. Okay, speaking of which, Eli, you're up next. I do know this cover as well, but I'm going to continue yeah. going. Let's do AKA 1000. Can I just say that's what I love about this show and this idea is that, like, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say 99.9% of the people on earth could never identify this cover, even <laughs> if they saw the entire cover. <laughs> okay, so I'm, so I'm sorry. Category, what was that category again? Let's do AKA for 1,000, please. Okay, easy money for 1,000 points. Tell me who Peter Parker is, for goodness sakes. Oof, 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 oof. He must be one arachnid. It must be Spider-Man. Oh, correct answer is Scarlet Spider. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's Ben Riley. I thought though. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, it depends on what point in the close yeah, saga exactly, you're looking at. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Good work, Eli. Oh my gosh, it's neck and neck at thirty thousand points. Who'd have thunk it? 
Neck under neck. All right, let's let's do um, artists and writers for two. It's neck beard and neck beard at two, <laughs> thirty thousand. Tell me the who who. I mean, who first appeared in Detective Comics twenty seven? I, I realize this is the low hanging fruit of the show. These no, questions, I don't, but I don't know this one. Oh no. Um, um, let's guess, uh, Robin. Ooh, I'm sorry, pal. The answer. Mm. Woohoo! I'm sorry. The answer is. The, the, <laughs> oh, artists and writers. Okay, that's that's my. Yeah, own yeah. It was artists and it was artists and writers. I, I blew that. No, I blew it. Um, that's all right, pal. Wow, um, William, it's, it's, you got to pay to pay attention. All right, all right. Let's go with. Uh, let's go with. Uh, I like these hard questions. Let's, let's go with first look. It makes the game a little exciting. Oh, whoa. Big money. Who first appeared in Albedo number two? Oh, come, yeah, man. That's uh, yeah, Usagi Ojimbo. Show me Usagi Ojimbo. All right. All right. Okay. Solve or, 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 or get a real tough <laughs> question. No, no. Jesus. Let's go. I want real tough. Yeah. Come on. Stump me, Dan. Stump me. Okay. For 5,000 and first look, who first appeared in Little Abner on August 31st, 1948? I feel like, and I, I don't think this is right, but for some reason, my mind immediately, where I jumped to, was Pogo for some reason. And I don't think that's right, but that's the only thing I can think of. That's where my mind is going. I like the way your mind is moving. Um, that's not correct. The correct answer. Lena Hyena. The, sh- oh, the no. shmoo. The no. shmoo. I'm sorry, there was, there was a typo in there, but it was the shmoo. And did you know <laughs> that a shmoo, uh, you could lay, it could lay eggs, you could milk it, and you could eat it. Wow. I don't know if many people know that about the shmoo. <laughs> uh, not. Moving on, Eli. This All is right. your moment, so you, you need to get a correct it. answer before you can solve the puzzle. But All so right. you need at least one more correct. All right, let's try AKA two thousand. Let's get me back okay. into my good feels here. Okay, this little kid known as Billy Batson. Who does he turn into? He turns into when he says the word Shazam. He turns into Captain Marvel. <laughs> Did you see that? Correct. You nailed my trick question. If you had said Shazam, you would have been instantly ejected from the game. I'm sorry. Okay, I, you're 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 right there. So yeah, uh, you yeah, could solve it if you wanted to, but I think you could move yeah, ahead. Let's with one try more one more. Let's try artists and writers three thousand. This is where you guess the artist and writer of a comic and not a character from it. <laughs> yes, I feel like I might have steered you on that last path on that last question. Okay, come on. We've all talked right. about him this show ah, all day. So Peter Bag, Pete Bag. All right, all right. Bad. Easy money. That's a good one. Oh, right. Here we go. Now, do okay, I solve or do I try to get more points? Uh, let's do AKA three thousand. Let's get those points. Let's yeah, get those points. do it. Dang. Do it. You want it? Come on. This one's right in your wheelhouse too. Right. Okay. Which this is uh, very good. Uh, a great run on this book was had by Sir Alan Moore. Who took this character out of off the planet in a psychedelic masterpiece? This is Swamp Thing. Show me Swamp Thing. Yeah, you make my heart sing. <laughs> Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. <laughs> this is your... All right, I am gonna solve now for the Neil Adams published classic, uh, Skate Man. Number Show one. me eight man. And can you tell me what's special? About, I'm going to give you that thousand points, but can you tell me what's special about this comic? Um, well, it was put out by, oh, it says Pacific Comics there. Um, yeah. Not a continuity no. comic, though. I was thinking it might be. Um, I know that I scored it from Neil Adams' very own comic book store here in Burbank, the Krusty Bunkers. Yes. But um, I don't know what's special about it. Okay, I'm going to give you a thousand points just for that. The, the correct answer is that it's the greatest comic of all time. <laughs> uh, okay, I did notice you posted that you have what ten copies of it or something. 
I have 11 copies within arm's reach right now and I want, and I'm looking for more. Um, speaking of more, let's go to the next round. All right. All right. Okay. All right. And now it's, uh, it's Willie Will's turn. So Will, this is your moment to pick a category. All right. All right. I got to catch up here. Uh, let's stick with, uh, let's go with artists and writers. Okay. Artists and writers for 1000 points. Mm-hmm. Oh, what comic strip was created by the great Gary Larson? It's a, it's a little difficult to call it a strip, right? <laughs> but, but we're talking mm. about the far side. Mm, you're ta- correct. Dude, Ooh, so I, might, I might take... I might have to take a thousand points away from you just for correcting me on that. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, uh, pick another category or, or solve if you can. This is solvable. I'm looking at that, trying to, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's stick with artists and writers for two. Nice. Okay. Artists and writers for 2000. Oh man. Snap back to our last question. I think this is a slam dunk for you, but you tell me who created Usagi Yojimbo. That's the, uh, the ever, the, the master Stan Sakai. Correct. Yeah. Good job. We love Stan, even though he won't come on my show. Boo, Stan. But <laughs> it's all right. I'm excited for the Netflix um, show. But do you know that it's going to be called, I think it's going to be called like Samurai Bunny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Usagi. Yeah, that's weird. I don't. And, and apparently it doesn't star Usagi. It stars like his grandson or something like that. Right. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, anyway. I digress. All right. Will? All right. Let's, uh, let's stick with artists and writers for three. Artists and writers for 3,000. Okay. Brian Azzarello and Richard Corbin collaborated on this startling story from Marvel featuring the Hulk. Happens to be one of my all-time favorite miniseries. I remember it, but I can't remember what it's called. Uh... Oh, shoot. Oh no, I got I don't got it. I don't got it. Ah, uh, oh. Hmm, was it a good year? Was it a uh, banner year? Uh, it was a banner. You can year. Act like a man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I see I remember I remember those Corbin Hulk books, but I just couldn't remember the name of the story. Yeah. Dang. Okay, Eli. Pick All right. Up. Let's try AKA for 1000, please. Okay, for 1,000, she's better known as Marvel Girl or the Phoenix. That is one of the original X-Men, the first team X-Woman, if you will. This is Jean Grey. Correct. I always thought one of the cooler names in comics. I'm glad to see her back to the name Marvel Girl. I just think that's a cool name. It's a cool name. And one of the most powerful creations Yep. Pick Omega a category, level my friend. I am right. so confused by this cover. What is it doing right? to this guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, let's try first look for a thousand. <laughs> See where this. Okay. Oh, another X Man. Tell me who is Ice Man, uh, aka Bobby Drake. Tell me what his first appearance. Right. Is. I'm going to go for X Men number one. Show me. Show me X-Men number one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, That's it. Ding, ding, ding. Ding. Bobby Drake. Fantastic. The Iceman. Okay. Oops, another category? Uh, let us try. Um, let's try AKA for 2000. Okay. AKA okay, for two. You. Come on, tell me who who's known as Jessica Drew. Jessica Drew. She's also a bit spidery. Arachnid has had some covers who caused a bit of a stir let's say spider woman show me spider woman Woo-hoo! The, hey, spider woman the, sex, the sexy impossible uh milo minara version yep. or, or right and didn't they just cast Issa ray as her for Ooh. i think for spider verse the cartoons oh, i'm not awesome. exactly sure yeah okay love Issa. To that yeah all right let's do first look for two First look for two. This villain first debuted in Amazing Spider-Man number three. Um, I will guess. Uh, let's guess the lizard. 
Manus is going to kill oh. my co-host because I don't know. We've this. already we've already seen it. This guy tonight. Oh, it's, so it's got oh, Octavius. Son of I knew it. I don't think I would have chosen wait, that. Wait a second. What graphic did you just use? Oh, oh I don't like know. You, <laughs> you might have, we, we might have just tipped our hand there a little bit, but uh, go ahead and uh, go uh, ahead, uh, Will. Will, Will, it's your All turn. Right. All right, let's stick with AKA. Okay, for 3,000, uh, this he- hero is uh, best known as Wonder Man. Ooh. Oh heck! I don't remember his name. He was always the. When I was growing up, no one read Wonder Man comics. We made <laughs> fun of them. I don't greatest, know. Yeah. <laughs> greatest costume in seventies <laughs> comics, right? Without a doubt, safari jacket and uh, a belt jetpack. We love. I, all I can think of, and I know this is totally wrong, but he, I, I always think of like from. Um, I always think of uh, from um, uh, Mortal Kombat. I think of Johnny Cage. Right, that's oh, what he always remains. Similar you know, characterization. Right, right. Okay. and show and me. So I can't think of his name. Okay, well, show me Johnny Cage. You never know. <laughs> oh, Sorry, oh, Simon that's Williams. My name. Simon yeah, I would Williams. never have remembered that. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, Eli. All right. All right. Let's go for first look for three. All right. Let's see if I can remember these. Okay, first look for three. Oh, my gosh! My gosh! Okay. This character, a major character in the DC universe, first appeared in Detective Comics number 225. I never would know this. I don't know. That seems way up there. I can't, I don't know when that occurred. I'm going to guess Bane because that seems like maybe around nightfall times. Sorry, believe it or not. No, that believe it or not. That's like Martian, Martian, Man, Martian, oh, Martian Man. 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 Yeah. Way off. <laughs> Milk is yeah. punching me for my insolence. <laughs> uh, see, they get trickier, guys. They're not all going to be they definitely do. like, what's Clark Kent's mom's name? Uh, <laughs> all right, let's go uh, artist and writers. Artists and writers for 4,000. They get a little trickier. Oh, this artist and writer is creator of Vamp Dreadstar. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's Jim Starlin. I know that one. Nice. Yeah, one. show me Jim Starlin, a guy who, Ooh, for as much for as much credit as that guy has received, finally for Thanos and stuff. Just like, how much has he does he still deserve for all the killer? Ever read Gilgamesh too? No, I never saw that one. Uh, oh my gosh, go check out Gilgamesh two by Jim Starlin. Incredible prestige you know, format. Marvel the thing series. that the thing that trips me up is go look at Dreadstar and how many issues that ran for. Oh my Amazing! God, it, was it was a lot. It was a look long run. Issues. Yeah, long well, run. And then even after Starlin left, it like continued with Peter David writing mm-hmm. it and stuff. Yep. Like right, that's unusual for creator owned books. I was just right. reading about that recently. Hmm. Yep. But I digress. Right. Will, why don't we quit stalling and you can pick another category? All right, let's stick with uh, let's stick with artists and writers for five. Bring it on. Oh, oh my gosh, go. all the way up to 5,000. Who's the creator of the amazing Cynical Man? Will, you've got a chance at this. <laughs> I, I, I'm not 100% certain on this. Uh, I don't remember for sure. I'm going to take a stab. It sounds like something that would have been created by, it sounds like a Bob Burden creation. That's my guess. Your answer, Bob Burden, not yeah. a bad answer. My the correct answer, Matt Woo-hoo! Fizzell. Oh. If you ever read um, any of his Stick Man comics and stuff that he did, mini comics, he did some amazing stuff. That's truly a 5,000-point question. So I, I just, for your attempt, I'm going to give you. All right. All right, Eli. All right. I, You're I in the lead. I know this, this is your chance. I, I'm going to go AKA 400. Let's try this. Okay. Okay, AKA for 4,000, you mean? 4,000, yes, yes, yes. Oh, another uh, Legion of Superheroes character. This guy's name was Tenzel Kem. Tenzel Kem. No idea. Would Uh, it help if I told you he was from the planet Bismol? Pepto. (laughs) No, it doesn't help me at all. (laughs) 
Close. The correct answer, matter oh. eater lag. Wow. <laughs> Fuck you. That's I my have name. not heard of that. I don't know. Yes. Man, I got to read some Legion here. Well, you know, and, yes. and you wonder why growing up in the, the 80s and 90s, we didn't read things like Legion of Superheroes because it featured things like matter eater lad. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> now, they did some pretty cool stuff with uh, with him under... Um, What's his face? The ambush bug guy when he oh, had right. Legion uh, yeah. for years. He did some cool stuff with Tenzel Kemp. Okay. All right. All right. Well, this I is uh, your moment. You just need one right. I know. I know. And you could take a stab at this. Well, I mean, yeah. The problem that I have is the number. Like, I can see what I the know. title is. I have no idea what yeah. this What this I have a feeling. Is. We're, yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. So let's go. Let's go. AKA five. Whoa. For 5,000 points. What character real name is Ron Lithgow? <laughs> Dang. Uh, one of my one of one of my favorites, it's not from the big two. Okay. Uh you know what? Let's just stick with uh because I don't know. We're gonna stick with my answer and get as many times I can uh I can say this is uh flaming carrot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're pandering to me with that answer, <laughs> but it's working. The correct answer is concrete. Oh, oh, oh that's right. Oh, I did know that. that. Because uh, the name Lithgow is actually a hint. Lith meaning. Skin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <sighs> okay, it's been a long and, time. And and here we are, uh, Eli. This is your chance. You really only got one. You you could either you could name this. You could try to name this. Mm-mm. No, let's try first look for four. Okay, I'm going to go first look for 4,000. This character first appeared in 2001, A Space Odyssey, number eight. That is X-51, the Machine Man. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even have X-51 Woo! in there. Did that come before you, or later that he had? That I'm giving you 1,000 points for X-51. Yes. You like? Because it's my show. Okay, um, there's only one left, so Let's if you get it. this Let's right, you're going to answer it, because I'll tell you the truth. There's no issue number on this. Oh, okay. okay. Let's just try it. Let's try this it oh. character first appeared in Yarrow Stocks, number one, but his first comic book appearance was in Zap, number one. Oh, Zap, number one. Um, I don't know. Yarrow Stocks, the lead singer from the Mamas and the Papas. <laughs> yeah, Peter Yarrow, <laughs> put in the stocks. That's Peter, Paul, and Mary. Sorry, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to guess Fritz the Cat. Oh, not a bad guess. Right creator, but the correct answer? Uh, Mr. Natural. 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 Oh, dang it. Ah, uh, no. Don't feel bad. I was okay. going to guess Fritz, too. That's what I was going to guess. Okay, and, uh, you did, and you're gonna get you get a thousand points for getting the answer the it correct Woo! because that is there is no issue number. All right, Eli, fifty five thousand points. Well, what's what's next on our board? Oh, I guess that sound means we're out of time, huh? What the hell was that? What you gave Eli five thousand points for a wrong answer? I did. Yes, uh, you did. Sometimes I'm not even sure why I trapped you here to run this game show if you're going to make stupid mistakes like that. You could always just let me leave. And write all these questions myself? I may be omnipotent, but ain't nobody got that kind of time. Except me, apparently. What? Just for that, you get to reorganize the entire cross-gen collection by creator. I hope you like Greg Land. You know I don't. Listen, dummy, I fixed your bungling. Here's the updated leaderboard. With 50,000 points, not 55, stupid. Our new champ is Eli Schwab. Not far behind, it's Will Hoffneck with 41,000 points. Well, what do they win? Besides the nerd cred and feeling of a job well done? Yeah, besides that garbage. Well, I guess we could throw in a no prize and maybe a coffee mug? What a cheapskate. How are we supposed to get contestants with those kind of prizes? Sure, as usual, lean on the omnipotent guy. 
If you want to be a contestant on Motherbox, send an email to motherbox at danshaheen.com. Until next time, I'm the voice of God wishing you peace, love, and comics. <laughs>